Hey there, y'all. PDT here, Prophet David Taylor. Uh, glad to be back with you uh, in this new year. Uh, hello to both my Facebook Live and my Periscope audience. Again, glad to see you in uh, 2018. I hope that you rang in the new year well. And I hope that God has continued to bless you and to uh, give you peace and to give you prosperity. But more than anything else, to give you direction. Because as we go through life, I've discovered the most important thing is to that's the way to maximum blessing okay and that's the only way to maximum blessing you got to do what the Lord says when he says do it the way he says do it but the best news all day is that he said his commandments are not grievous okay that means obeying God is not going to be a grief to you the grief that we find in life is because of sin not because of God but anyway, so I'm glad to be back with you, uh, glad to be back here in 2018, and as you know, I'm releasing some new music today too, so that's going to be uh, after we finish this prophetic word. So as always, I pray before I come out and ask the Holy Ghost what it is that I should say, and, uh, and uh, so I can be sure I'm accurately delivering to the body of Christ, accurate, accurately delivering, excuse me, to the body of Christ, what it is I'm supposed to be giving them. And today the Holy Ghost said the word was refresh. The word is refresh. And our scripture basis today is Jeremiah 31, 25. I'm going to read that in a couple of different translations. In the King James, Jeremiah 31, 25 says, For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. New American Standard, For I satisfy the weary ones and refresh everyone who languishes. English Standard Version, for I will satisfy the weary soul and every languishing soul I will replenish. Uh, New International Version, I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. So I like the New American Standard, uh, for I satisfy the weary ones and refresh everyone who languishes. Now when you get behind the language, when you look at that word satisfy, that word satisfy in Hebrew is rava. Rava, and it means to be saturated or to drink one's fill. Okay, so there it's talking about satiating your thirst. When it says the English word refresh, there it is male, male in Hebrew, and that means to be full or to be filled. So, what is God saying to us as we go into 2018? God is saying to us that He's going to satiate you, satiate your thirst. And let you drink to your fill. And he's saying he's going to satisfy you and let you eat to your full. Now, as you know, I always like to give practical applications when I teach and prophesy. Because we don't just want, want platitudes. Or we don't want things in the abstract. Because that doesn't help us live. So what does that look like in your real life? I'll tell you what it looks like. It means, number one, that you can have both friendships and marriages and romantic relationships that satisfy you. And as a matter of fact, you shouldn't settle for anything less. You shouldn't settle for friends without integrity. You should uh, have friends that you can trust. And you shouldn't settle for anything less in a marital relationship. You ought to be satisfied. When you wake up in the morning and you turn over and you look at your spouse, you need to be happy to be there. You need to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. It's something I say about my kids all the time. If you could line up all the kids in the world and tell me I could be dad to anybody that I wanted to be, I would still pick the kids that I have. If I had a choice to be a father to any child in the world, I would still pick the kids I have. Do you know why? Because I don't just love them. I like them. Because I like who they are. Because they satisfy me when I look at them. I'm so proud of them, I don't know what to do, and I wouldn't trade them for anything or anybody. See, so I'm a satisfied father. You understand? You're supposed to have that in your parental relationships. You're supposed to have that in your marital relationships. You're supposed to have that in your friendships. It also means that God will satisfy you with your relationship with him, meaning you won't need any other gods. You won't have to worship anything other than him to be satisfied in life. Whatever kind of thirst you have spiritually, the Lord Jesus Christ is more than enough to fill up your thirst spiritually. Whatever kind of 
hunger you have spiritually, then the Word of God is more than enough to fill you up and you don't have to go seeking after other gods to try to scratch that itch and try to fill that hunger. Okay? It also means to satisfy you financially. Well, well, what does that mean? That means that, you know, because people, you know, some people are always saying, you know, God wants you rich and some people know he doesn't and they keep going back and forth, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, whatever financial level God is calling you to is the level you need to live on. And whatever level God is calling you to He's going to show you how to get to that financial level so that you can build whatever it is that you're trying to build. That is how you become satisfied financially because everybody's not going to be on the same level. And it's not about that. It's about you being on the level that you need to be on for whatever God has called you to do. Like if you're a pastor and you have a 2,000 member church, you need to have more than enough money to take care of the needs of running that church. If you're a pastor and you have 20,000 members, you need to have more than enough money to be, be sure you can take care of your members. And on and on and on, that kind of thing. So you need to be satisfied at, what, at whatever level you're on. And God says that's what he wants to do. He said, I satisfy the weary ones. That's talking about, again, quenching your thirst and refresh everyone who languages. That's talking about being sure you can eat to the full in every area, spiritually, uh, with your relationships, financially, that kind of thing, okay? And when we learn how to receive from God that way, that's how we can give our testimony. I just gave um, my testimony on Twitter the other day, and I was talking about God's love. And I was talking about how my life changed because God told me he wanted me to let me love, uh, let him love me the way he wanted to love me because he had so much more to give me than I was receiving, so I had to humble myself and I had to let go of my idea of what it was because my idea was limited. And then God began to pour out upon me in a brand new way. See, and he satisfied me, satisfied my soul, gave me new revelations, gave me new energy, gave me new things that set before me that I'm going to spend the rest of my life chasing and running and doing and building. He satisfied me with a vision that I am more than happy to live out. Because that's what he asked me. He said he wanted to love me in a way uh, that was different than the level we were on. You see that? And my soul is satisfied. I'm so happy with the things I have to do with my life and, and where I'm going and the things I want to build and the things that God wants me to give birth to. I'm, I'm super satisfied with that. So I have no need to go serving after no other gods because the Lord Jesus Christ has satisfied my soul. Jesus is just all right with me. He's fine with me. You see that? You have to be able to give a testimony like that. So if you're not at that place in your walk with God, then I encourage you to let the Lord do what he says in Jeremiah 31, 25. Let the Lord quench your thirst. Let the Lord fill you up so you can eat to the full so your soul, your body, your wallet, your mind is satisfied. So you're satisfied in your walk with God and you're satisfied in your life. Okay? All that was part one. Part two of refreshing is God is going to give us a fresh burst, a renewal to help us move forward into 2018. You know why? Because 2017, well, there was a lot of blessings and a lot of victories, but it's a lot of fighting. A lot of people were moving forward and living their dream, but there was a lot of fighting, a lot of struggle. If you think about what 2017 was about, it was, it was a real intense balance. A lot of good blessings and a lot of fight, a lot of struggle, a lot of setback, a lot of having to determine that you're going to live by faith no matter what. Okay, And so we need to be refreshed. We need a new burst of energy. We need a new, a new sense of renewal to go forward as we go into this year because there's going to be more blessings and more mountains this year, but that also means there's going to be more fights <laughs> and there's going to be more challenges. So we need that fresh boost and that fresh energy from God to meet those challenges. Okay? So let me give you a prophetic word. I feel that coming. For behold, my people, I come to you to refresh you. I come to you as the son of righteousness to arise with healing in my wings. And I want you to let me love you the way I want to love you. I want you to take the limits off of your mind. Stop limiting my love. Stop limiting my grace. Stop limiting my favor. 
and realize that I am an unlimited God and allow me to pour into you the way I want to pour into you because I desire to quench your thirst and I desire to fill your stomach. I desire to satisfy my people as never before and allow me to give you the boost that you need to start off 2018 so you can run your, your race with patience, with diligence, with focus, with single-mindedness, with determination, with perseverance. You need grace from me to do all that, so allow me to pour that into you. And as you allow me to love you and pour that into you, I'll give you the energy, the vision, and the strength that you need to have a victorious 2018, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Now that blessed me. I needed that. I received that. So that blessed me when I said that. So I'm so happy to be back uh, and uh, uh, on my weekly prophetic word. So happy to uh, share with the body of Christ because it's a blessing to serve God. That's why I'm always trying to encourage those of you that are uh, maybe hesitant about getting into the ministry. Maybe you haven't really taken up your cross and, you know, you feel God calling you, but you're not sure. I want to encourage you that when you get into the flow the way the Lord wants you to, it's a blessing to you just to serve. It's a blessing just to be in the flow of God. So I want to encourage those of you that listen to me to, to do that in your own lives, to get to where God wants you to be so you can get in that flow. Because that flow will be better than where you are right now, guaranteed. Okay? All right, God bless you. I'm going to say a quick prayer to close us out. Then I'm going to tell you some more about the music coming up and then tell you about the schedule for the year. So let me uh, close this word with a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you just thanking you for your word of refreshing that you want to satisfy our thirst, that you want to fill our stomachs, you want to fill our hunger, that, that you are the only God that we need. We don't have to seek after other gods. We can just serve and believe you and you'll satisfy us that you desire to satisfy us, that you promise that you will satisfy us. So right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we surrender. We surrender our ideas. We surrender our ideas about your love and your grace, and we take the limits off. We, we lay down limits. We lay down our ideas, and now we open ourselves as little children, humbly, to receive from you the way you want to give to us, O oh God. And we just thank you for it. We just thank you for being able to come to you as a little child before their father and receive of your goodness and your love and your grace and your mercy. For it is truly a privilege and an honor to stand before the living God. It is truly a privilege and honor to have the living God hear our voice and hear our cry and respond. For you are a great and a mighty God with whom there is no comparison. And we are just clay and breath. And yet you humble yourself to share your love and your grace and your goodness with us. You who need nothing and you who have everything long to give to us. Us, we are your creatures of, of clay and breath that are nothing without you. So I just thank you for it. I just thank you for it as a little child and I'm looking forward to receiving even more love, more grace, more vision, more wisdom, more finances, more of your anointing, more of the Holy Ghost. I'm looking forward to receiving all that you want to satisfy me with and I pray that same prayer for my audience, that they too would receive everything you have for them uh, in this year. And I thank you for it, and I believe you for it. We establish this prayer by the blood of Jesus, because that blood has paid for all sin. We seal this prayer with the name of Jesus, because that name has the authority that's above every name. And on my authority as a prophet in the kingdom of God on the earth, I release it. I release it to myself and to my audience. I release it. And it is so. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, those of you, uh, you will have felt that when I got to the part when I said I was releasing. You will feel that spiritual flow. You'll feel it even over the Internet. It's the most amazing thing because the Holy Ghost is here with me. and He's right there with you, too. Okay? So, God bless you. That's our prophetic word for this week. Now, in uh, so our schedule is just like it was last year. I'll be on every Sunday. At 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I simultaneously broadcast on Facebook Live and on Periscope. And then my Periscope also comes up on my Twitter. So I'm actually at three places at once, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, every Sunday afternoon with a live prophetic word from God. 
Now, once a month, I will uh, release some new music on my music page, and that's uh, Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross. So today is that day I'm, I'm releasing my second video, a song entitled Creator, which is the second song off my EP called Millennial Praise One. Uh, so I'm releasing an EP of three songs, and I already released the first one, Get Your Praise On. This is the second one entitled Creator. So that's dropping today. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, I definitely want you to check that out. Now, here's how to find them. Now, my Periscope audience, I'm just going to come back on at 3 o'clock. So I'll be on Periscope uh, with you and also on Twitter. So that'll stay the same. My Facebook audience, I will switch over to my Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross music page because I have two separate pages for my prophetic ministry and then my prophetic music ministry. Uh, so those are two separate pages. So I'm going to come back on in about 15 minutes on Periscope and Twitter and then on my uh, Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross page. Then we're going to do some listening. We can listen to Creator and then there will be links. I'll put a link underneath the video so you can find the video on YouTube. It's going to be released on YouTube and then you can get the track uh, on my website and then when all of them are released, then you can get the uh, EP on iTunes, okay? So I'm going to be releasing music all throughout the year. And uh, my music, uh, I'll talk more about it on my page, but my music has a perfect purpose. It has a prophetic purpose. It's not just dropping some more tracks. It actually is targeted at, very, at some very specific things. So I'll talk about that when I come back on. So those of you that are watching me on Facebook, go to Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross. That's where I'll be at 3 o'clock, and we're going to uh, listen to the video, and I'll explain some more about my music ministry. And those of you on Periscope and Twitter, just come back on at 3, and I'll be there. Okay? All right, thank you so much. I'll see you shortly. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. You know, I count it as an honor to be able to deliver, to deliver God's Word to the body of Christ. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless.